Hey guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we want to talk to you guys about blade baits. Tim is going to jump into how to actually fish them, but to start, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history, a little bit of the background of the blade bait and what this whole technique is about. Uh, the original blade bait was the Silver Buddy, still exists today, still widely available. Uh, it was developed by a guy named Buddy Banks. It came out of the Dale Hollow area back there in Kentucky, Tennessee. Uh, originally designed for cold water smallmouth fishing. That was the intent and it has caught tens of thousands of big smallmouth around the country for years and years and years. Very simple bait, typically a bare nickel plated bait, uh, but its effectiveness is incredible. In more recent years, other, other companies have jumped in, paint jobs have gotten better, styles have gotten better, details have changed. Tim's gonna walk you through all that stuff, but this is not a new technique. It's proven, it has, in, it has worked forever in cold water. It's one of those techniques that, that came out of the Midwest, came out of the South, and just stuck. And it has just continued to work year after year after year. Yeah, you know, obviously Matt and I were out here doing some wintertime fishing. We got the <laughs> fog, it's a little bit of rain, cold water, low 50s. And uh, we realized, I actually tied one, a blade bait on, and realized that we've never shot a blade bait video. Right. And you know, Matt and I, we love throwing lipless cranks. Um, same goes for the blade baits. It's, t it's, t it's a silent bait. Uh, where this bait shines is cold, cold water. Mm -hmm. um, when fish are keying in on small bait fish, shad, um, You've, you fish it the same. You know, we've done lipless videos in the past. Yeah, uh, about slow fishing, about bottom yeah, fishing. Bottom fishing, and um, I'll link up here to, to some of those videos. But but uh, like Matt said, there's there's several baits on the market. Um, different baits have different actions. With these baits, you'll see that there's three holes. You can actually adjust where the snap is on the mm -hmm. bait, and you can adjust how tight the wobble is or how wide the wobble is. Typically in cold water, you want really tight, really, really tight, subtle uh, action. So you can move it to the front. I typically fish it in the middle. Um, but blade baits, uh, there's so many. There's the Binsky, Demiki Vault has a good one. I will link to all the different baits that we use in our arsenal. Um, the reason we use so many is because they do have different actions. Now fishing these, again, cold water. So you're gonna throw it, you're gonna fish it slow, methodically. You're gonna, you're gonna fire out, let it hit bottom, and you're just gonna pop the rod up just a little bit, like five or six inches, just enough to get a three or four, mm -hmm. you know, you know, little rattles, little little shimmies out of it, and you're gonna let it fall again. Hop it up, let it fall. And a lot of times on that fall, they'll either knock slack in your line, or when it hits bottom, they'll thump it like a jig. Mm -hmm. um, but when those fish are, are, are fall time, winter time, when they're schooling up on bait fish, um, or cold, cold weather in the backs of coves. You can fish this down through the bait and uh, put some nice fish in the boat when, when nothing else will work and you wanna throw a reaction uh, bait. You know, you could be dragging a jig, you'd be throwing a drop shot, whatever, but if you wanna get a reaction bait, a little blade bait is a perfect bait to go to. You know, one of the fun things about the blade is that it shines at a time of year where almost no other reaction shines. Mm -hmm. And this is a bait where you've got almost everything else eliminated you're down to true finesse fishing slow fishing grinding it out especially for the guys up north it's when you're truly grinding it's that last reaction technique where you you're just beating your head on the wall beating your head on the wall and then you go to a blade and you, you actually get to fish a fun way get that reactive bite and it works in cold cold water for those of you that aren't iced in but you are close to iced in it still works. Mm -hmm. That's when that bait shines. I mean, low 50s is kind of the cap of that water temp. And there are exceptions to that rule, of course. But the other thing is, it was traditionally a smallmouth bait. It, it has expanded. I mean, we throw it for largemouth, we throw it for spots, but it catches big largies. It works for everything in that cold water when your other alternatives are dragging and throwing finesse jigs. And the other things that we've been talking to you guys about lately, it's another fun option that you can play with and try. Like Tim said, there are a variety of brands, make some different baits. We'll link you all the different ones that we personally use from the original Silver Buddy all the way up to some of the JDM stuff and everything in between. They're fun baits to play with. Each one is a little different, 
We will also link you uh, our upgrades because we do upgrade hooks split rings, hooks. Right. Most of them come with garbage. Right. Real, uh, real small hooks, stuff that's easily bent out. Right. And these things do put big fish in the boat. I know uh, the biggest fish I've heard of caught on, on a blade bait was 19 pounds. <laughs> um, so you're going to want to upgrade, awesome. upgrade your tackle, upgrade your hardware. Um, it's a fun way to fish in the wintertime when it's cold uh, and you want to make those fish react, make those fish bite. A blade bait is a great bait to go to. Yeah. We hope that helps, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.